Hey friends nowadays everywhere we see news about COVID vaccine developer name Pfizer let's know about. Albert Bulla is a Greek business executive and veterinarian who serves as the chairman and chief executive officer of the American pharmaceutical corporation Pfizer. Pfizer is a New York-based big pharma company. It's known for its products like Advil, Viagra, Xanax, and Zoloft. It was the second largest pharmaceutical company in revenue in 2017. But the medical industry giant has had its share of legal troubles and scandal Pfizer Inc. Pfizer is a research-based global biopharmaceutical company. The company is engaged in the discovery, development and manufacture of healthcare products. Its global portfolio includes medicines and vaccines. The company manages its commercial operations through two business segments, Pfizer Innovative Health and Pfizer Essential Health, A. E focuses on developing and commercializing medicines and vaccines. E therapeutic areas include internal medicine, vaccines, oncology, inflammation and immunology, rare diseases and consumer health care. A includes legacy brands, branded generics, generic sterile injectable products, biosimilars and infusion systems. A also includes a research and development. R&D, organization, as well as its contract manufacturing business. Its brands include Prevner 13, Zelgens, Elicus, Lipitor, Celebrex, Perstic, and Viagra. The Pfizer, BioNTech vaccine against COVID-19 performs even better than previously thought, with 95% efficacy, equaling the early results from Moderna on Monday, according to an analysis of the final data from their trials which paves the way for regulators to grant an emergency license and vaccination campaigns to begin. The news will excite scientists, public health experts and politicians. Pfizer, BioNTech say they also have the necessary safety data that regulatory bodies require, and will submit the vaccine for emergency approval within days to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and other regulators around the world. The Pfizer vaccine which uses innovative mRNA technology, was the first to publish an early analysis from its Phase three trials involving 43,000 people worldwide. That analysis of 94 cases of COVID illness showed more than 90% efficacy and caused celebration around the world as it appeared clear that a vaccine was at least possible against the coronavirus that has wreaked havoc in people's lives and countries' economies. Britain has become the first country in the West to approve a COVID-19 vaccine for public use. The UK Department of Health and Social Care confirmed in a statement to British news agencies that the vaccine developed jointly by American drug maker Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech would be distributed starting next week. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.